Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Net Producer Magazine reporting to you from the annual convention of the Almond Alliance of California held here today in Napa. And I'm here with Eric Tilton from Hermedia Pro. He's one of the speakers today. Obviously, uh, almond biomass is a is a huge topic of concern right now with a growing amount and what are some of our options, alternatives, how do we break this down, make it into a a form that can be can be used as, as fertilizer or as feed. But the work that Eric's doing right now is with this black soldier fly, taking this fly to break it down to, to make fertilizer, right? Fertilizer and animal feed. And, and animal feed. So could you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So um, black soldier fly is, uh, sounds ominous. You know, the word soldier kind of has connotations to it, but it's uh, really a benign insect, a non-pest, non-invasive species. The uh, young form, the larval form, is very proficient at uh, converting uh, any, any variety of uh, biomass materials into protein in the, the body of the larvae and into uh, compost. Um, this particular insect, for instance, will take uh, a biomass of, uh, of almond hulls and shells and in a matter of um, two to three weeks convert all of that um, into uh, very rich compost, high nitrogen, high organic matter compost, and also uh, a very rich alternative protein source that can be used for uh, aquaculture, for poultry, for uh, pet food inclusion. So um, it's growing in acceptance in the United States. Uh, it's already used for those kinds of purposes uh, overseas in China and Europe. And so how long has this project been so far, uh, particularly in almonds? And you said you're working with Mintern Nut? So uh, we've been at this since uh, mid-2017. That's when the company was started. Um, we've been working with uh, some folks from UC Davis and other uh, uh, California universities who are also studying this insect, in particular almond holes. Um, at the moment, we're, we're procuring a ground form of the holes uh, from a Minturn co-op. Uh, it's easier uh, it, for our purposes to use a ground form. We can blend it uh, with other grains pretty easily so yeah. and how would these uh, processors would they do it on site or you know where would they what kind of infrastructure would they need for something like this so it's an evolving uh, industry there are a, a number of approaches that are being explored um, it could be centrally uh, done where where we truck in uh, holes and shells uh, from the hauler and sheller it's also possible to create uh, on site um, Facilities to do it at the scale that's that's needed in the industry it would have to be a you know reasonably large scale plant, but that is a possibility that um, some folks are asking us about, uh, also in other other contexts. Great. Well, thank you, Eric. Uh, read more about these things as we learn more information in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgNet.com.